Flipping is a great way to get rich, which is fantastic. But buy and hold real estate is the true way for wealth. <laughs> Hey, this is Matt Fichet, The Fruitful Investor, and your investing coach. And today's video is about flipping versus buy and hold real estate. Which is better to make more money? Now, both strategies are fantastic. Both strategies should be used. I'm gonna give you my opinion on the one I like most and why. Now, let's get right to it. Flipping real estate is hoping that things work out, period. Now, there are some strategies and some sophisticated things you can do to make sure that you actually do end up making money. You know, there's a ton of things you can do and build a system, build a team, to take care of it. But at the end of the day, flipping real estate really is borderline speculating. You're hoping things work out. You're hoping the market doesn't change too much in the period from buying it, closing it, you know, renovating it and then selling it. And you're hoping that the buyer actually closes, yada, yada, yada. You're hoping for a lot of things to come together. For example, here in Kitchener, Waterloo and Cambridge, the market has changed dramatically in the past couple of months. In January, February, March, and even a little bit into April, the market here was hot. It was the boom phase of the real estate cycle. It was nuts. You could get whatever you asked for. Now, if you bought a property, even off market MLS, you bought it for 70 cents on the dollar or less, yada, yada, you did all the smoking things you're supposed to do, the market has cooled dramatically now in July. So let's say you bought it in March, you know, you spent two months renovating it, now it's on the market ready to sell. Too bad, the market has changed a lot and you might not have come out profitable or as nearly profitable as you would have if the market would have stayed the same. Now again, you could have accounted for that, but it was unpredictable. We didn't know exactly what was gonna happen in the coming months. So in that case, you might have lost, you might have been negative, you might have barely made out of money, you might have broke even. So how do we guarantee or almost guarantee that we can make money. So this is a strategy I like. I still like to buy the undervalued properties, usually off MLS, off market by motivated sellers, but instead of flipping it, I like to hold it. So I'm doing the same things that flippers are doing. I'm buying at 70 cents on the dollar or less here in Kitchener, but I'm flipping it top to bottom, but instead of selling it right there and then, I'm gonna hold it and rent it out for two to five years, and that's the key. You wanna hold for two to five years. Why? In that time frame, you can pick and choose when to sell in that uh, in that time. The market might change, like it just did now. So if you were to sell, you had no choice, and you had all the strategies. You you borrowed money from a partner who wanted his money now. You had to sell it. You know you might lose out. But if you buy it with the intention to hold it with your partner by yourself, now you can you know pick and choose in time when to sell it. The market right now is not a really good time to be a seller. So what do we do? We wait until the next boom phase or when things you know, kind of get better in the market. So we hold it. And not, not including just that, that's the one main thing is to, you know, we, now we can pick and choose when to sell, when's the right time to sell. But also in that whole two to five years or more, we're also getting mortgage pay down. The market is appreciating, hopefully in your area, like, but Kitchener is still appreciating, maybe not 20, 30% like it did last year, but maybe the normal five to 7%, that's great. I'll take that every single year. So we're getting mortgage pay down, the market's still appreciating, and we're also getting cash flow every single month. So our spread is getting even bigger every single month, every single year, so that when we do sell up here, we're making even more money. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so we wanna hold it. That's the way I like to do it. I still do all the same thing the flippers are doing, but I'd rather hold it. And yes, I still do flips. Um, that's great, I will still do some, but I, I would rather way love to hold every single property I buy. Some of my partners wanna do a straight flip, that's cool, we'll make it work, but most of the time my partners and I are keeping them. So the other advantage to making more money, picking and choosing when is the right time to sell, tax time is even better. Remember, when you flip a property, you're paying taxes on all of it, all your profit. It's just, let's say you make 50 grand. So you pay taxes, whatever your tax rate is, and this is gonna push your tax rate way up Especially if you're doing one, two, three, four flips in a year, man, you're gonna be at the top tax rate here in Canada. Yes, you can do a corporation and uh, only pay 15% tax on active income. I, I know those things, but still, you're paying taxes on all of it. And this video is for the majority of the flippers, or the majority of people watching this video aren't flipping in corporations. They're usually flipping in their personal name. So you're paying 
taxes on all of the income you made at your high tax rate. So if you already make 100 grand a year at your job, you know, you make 100 grand a year in flipping real estate, or maybe you did two, three flips in that year, now you're paying taxes at a $200,000 tax rate, which is a nasty rate, trust me, nasty rate. So we don't wanna be paying at that. So when we do a buy and hold, we pay capital gains. So what that means is that we pay taxes only on 50% of the profits. So let's say we make 100 grand because we held it, so we're gonna make more money than the guy who made 50 just by selling a quick flip. We're gonna hold it for two years. In that two years, the market appreciated, the mortgage got paid down, and our spread is even bigger, right? Because we bought it real low like we're supposed to, we flipped it, so we pushed the equity way up, and now we're gonna keep going even more. That's the secret, that's why I love buy and hold. It's the true way to wealth. You know, I always say that flipping is a great way to get rich, which is fantastic. But buy and hold real estate is the true way for wealth. What's the difference between wealth and rich? When you're rich, when you stop doing whatever you're doing to get rich, it's over. If you stop flipping real estate, no money. If you stop being a doctor who gets high, you know, high paying salary, that's it. You're no longer rich, no money anymore. But with wealth, things are working in the background. Passive income, okay? I can kick up my feet. I can go travel to Hawaii, Costa Rica, Iceland, whatever, which is what we do all the time. I'm still making money. That's a true, that's wealth. So you want that, trust me, that's way better. But back to this, we pay taxes on half. So we made 100 grand in, on this project over two years, let's say. We only pay taxes on 50 grand, okay? Now, and if we put that property in a corporation, which is what I do now, all my buy and holds with partners are in a corporation, so I, I only pay 38% tax rate on half, no matter how much I make. Doesn't matter how, if I make a million dollars, two million dollars in a year, 38% tax rate. It's you know one way around the tax man laws in uh, Canada here. So that's why I like buy and hold. You only pay uh, tax on 50% of your income rather than 100% of the income you made on straight flips. And again, I talked about the uh, other you know bonuses, which is depreciation, mortgage pay down, cash flow, yada, you already know it all. So that's the benefit. So for me, flipping versus buy and hold, I like buy and hold with a twist. I still do the same thing all the flippers are doing. I'm still getting the low price, under market value, 70 cents on the, on the dollar or less, but instead of straight flipping it, I'm holding it for even more money and more wealth, which is what I really want and what I'm after so I can travel the world and do, do all the things I wanna do while still getting wealthy in the background while I do nothing in the foreground, if that makes sense. That's the video. If you learned anything, if you like this video, please click like right below. And to find out more about my Real Estate Investing Apprenticeship Program, which I talked about briefly with partnering, you can find out how I do all of that with partners, how I make my partners and I a ton of money. Find out more about that right about here. And to watch more videos, you can watch those right about here. See you in the next video. <music>